Here we are at CG 2012 and I figure I'd do a bit of a tour starting with the arcade. It's always a small section of the arcade, just along this line of the wall. Some classics though. Super Pac-Man. Spy Hunter. Scramble. I'll play some of these later and do some gameplays. Night Driver. And coming to the end now with uh, good old Tank 2. And just looking back into the exhibitor space then, right at the end there you can see the Wreck-It Ralph boot, which I'll probably have more on. And then a fairly large boot here, I'm not entirely sure who it is, I'll put, put up annotations. Uh, pretty much they got a load of stuff. From uh, actually everything up to modern too, which is pretty cool. Sadly, the Vectrex is not for sale. I think this is the Vectrex overlay and boot. Yeah, Twin Galaxies are setting up. Down there you can see Cheetah Men. A few more small little boots. Rob Weiss but selling his books. Cheetah Men, um, Kickstarter project. Ionoid boot. This is where they have the um, the bands this year. Thankfully away, so it's a bit quieter on the floor itself and the kind of couch uh, console area. Uh, just walk over. Galaxy's award ceremony for uh, the CGE guys. Some of them aren't really in use at the moment. Episode one on um, N64. Missing SNES, but some games. PS1, uh, real Panasonic 3DO, the awesome Sega Tower of Doom, Dreamcast, an Atari 7800, uh, 2600, Darth Vader, and then a Sega Dreamcast kiosk. There's Keith Robertson at the Intellivision boot. Of the Atari 2600 boot, I think. Selling a lot of Jaguar and Lynx stuff new in box. Actually, no, wait, there's Atari2600.com. Easy to get confused. Again, a hell of a lot of Atari merchandise. Some reproductions. Some new Intellivision reproductions, actually. Video games. Some rare items, actually, at that one. Pretty pricey. Um, backside of the uh, other large uh, store. So there they have a, a Korean Master System game, tempting. Mark three. And buckets and buckets full of games there. As you can see, a lot of stuff. I was hoping to see something for the Saturn and all sorts of buckets of them. Nothing really jumping out at me. There we have the Super Video Game Bros. They have a fair few interesting and unusual items. Some sealed games there. No, no. Some more very nice conditioned um, NES games. A very nice Zelda for 69. Doing a raffle for the NES. An NES 2 set. Vectrix overlays. There's the Wreck-It Ralph boot again. And good deal games. Mike James over at the Retro Gaming Roundup boot. Um, I think this is, well they're saying DLAA on their thing, but I think they're like um, a Las Vegas actually a video game store. They have a fair, fair lot of stuff there too. Extending over to some memorabilia. Nice console sets up there. Sadly I don't think I'll be picking those up, a bit too big to bring home. Hyper Kim with some stuff. Modern USB retro stuff, Super Boys, LE Software Encyclopedia. And we're getting near the end now. We have, um, actually, I'm not too sure what these, the name of this boot is, but I met Chris Kohler there yesterday. Got him to sign my um, copy of his book and got a great game for my Mass System set. 
Apparently he's completed the USS. And on this side then they have the uh, Nintendo World Championship and Nintendo Campus Championship challenge going on, which I did absolutely abysmal at. There's Pac-Man's head. See if you can spot him in another video of mine. And um, the digital breast boot. That brings us pretty much back to the end.